Hello, spies. How are you? What are you doing? Are you having a good day today? Is the weather treating you right? <laughs> we got Pisces. Hey, Pisces, what is up? Reading for you today as the fourth sign that we have read for in this series so far. And we got some Saturn. Okay. I do feel like some certain conversations are coming up. We rolled Saturn, but... I'm getting Mercury as well. Yeah, there's Mercury here. I feel like someone is trying to communicate. Exactly. Did you see how that popped out? Someone is trying to communicate uh, boundaries here with you, Pisces. I do feel like boundaries are important during this time. And there's something in particular that people need to take responsibility for, okay? And if they're not doing so, then I feel there's a need to kind of back up a bit, okay? Um, in this deck with this page of swords, it kind of feels like someone is facing something pretty intensely, okay? So if you look at this person's face here, they look like there's some sort of reason that they are kind of standing up for themselves, right? It's like facing an opponent, if you will, or some sort of threat here. Now, I'm not saying you have some sort of threat coming in, but it does give kind of like the energy of protecting your space, okay, and yourself. So let me see what's going on with you, Pisces. We're going to pull for partnerships for this coming week here, and then I'll pull you a two-week outcome. All right, let's see you, your situation, and your person. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and that would make sense with what we're saying here. And some wheel energy. Ah, oh, okay. So there's also an energy bringing in this Saturn here that I can see for you specifically, Pisces. Maybe you have a lot of stuff that you're working very intently on here, okay? Uh, staying busy, completing some projects, or you... It's like you're in the flow. Like you're in the flow of getting things done here. Or maybe something that uh, for some of you, you could be teaching somebody something or showing somebody a skill here for some, okay? Now, I'm also saying whoever you're dealing with is in the process of creating a change here, okay? They have a chance to do that. They have an opportunity to create a change as they see it. And it's time for them to kind of put that into motion from what I'm seeing, okay? So your situation kind of makes sense with the boundaries. With the Seven of Wands, it's kind of like standing up for yourself here against all odds or other people trying to be in your business or maybe they're just imposing some needs on you uh, during this week, Pisces, because it looks like you kind of need to... I'm hearing zone out. You kind of need to shut out opponents or shut out just a lot of busyness, okay? And for some, that just means this situation in particular that we're pulling on. But let's see what's up. Why the Seven of Wands? What is this about for the situation? What is this? Okay, I'm hearing Rob Zombie? I don't know. I'm hearing 98. Okay. Back of the Magician, the Ten of Swords, and the Five of Swords. This is some BS right here, all right? And I feel like this is what you're avoiding. <laughs> That's the thing. I feel like someone approached you in a certain way here. Um, that kind of, it looks like you got kind of angry or upset with this individual. Whoever came at you this way, it was a bad idea, Okay. Who, they came in thinking that they were going to, you know, pull the wool over your eyes and one-up you or trying to get one over on you for some reason with that Ten of Swords to that Five of Swords there. Yeah, not cool, okay? And this is the particular person that you don't want in your business, okay? I feel like you're dealing with somebody who could be at times a little bit like a bully or kind of picks on you at times or... Um, Someone likes to cause turbulence, okay? Conflicts, things like that. It's like a prideful energy about this here. Now, here's the thing. This is almost the energy of someone who 
at first they're really mean and then right after that they want to be nice <laughs> okay just kidding. I didn't mean to do that. It's kind of giving. Let's see what the eight of pentacles is for my Pisces. Let's see what you're looking like. Why eight of pentacles for you? Because of the six of wands. You're like, I don't care. I'm seeing you like plug your ears here. Okay. I feel like you don't want to hear someone. Some of you guys are wearing like headphones um, wh while you work or when you're in certain environments because you're kind of tuning out things. I keep getting this for you. Okay, chariot on the bottom of the deck. Ten of cups, eight of cups backside. Perfect. Okay. I see some of you guys working on, well, first of all, getting back to a place of happiness and it's like come what may or um, I'm hearing double wears Prada. Interesting, right? But this is like you doing what it is that is best for you and not having to worry about other people's opinions here because this is almost like, all right, I'm going to succeed at my happiness and I'm going to put work into this. And if that means I have to go back somewhere or I have to revisit something or I need to go visit some of my family members or loved ones or spend time with them or whatever this is, okay, I'm going to be happy. And if you're hurt by that, that's not, that's none of my business. That's what this looks I feel like there's someone who kind of doesn't want you doing this or is somehow you feel maybe kind of upset that you want to be happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me see about this wheel that you're dealing with, this person. Who is this wheel individual? Who is this in my Pisces reading? The King of Wands. I'm hearing Noble. Specifically, nobleman. <laughs> Is this a nobleman over here? Male or female? I don't really care. The Three of Cups and the Six of Swords. This is interesting, yeah. Um, someone was totally out of whack here, okay? Out of bounds, out of line, whatever happened. Okay, well, at least they're they're sorry about it. There may have been an individual, um, if it's a fire sign, perhaps it's a fire sign here. I'm getting lots of fire on their side here, guys. So this is someone who kind of took emperor energy to the extreme. It's like macho, a um, little bit of ego streak, you know, and a mean streak as well. They were acting out something. I'm hearing, okay, a fantasy? I hope not. I mean, I'm hearing they were acting out something that they regret here. What is this? What they, what? Hmm. Okay, this six, all right, ace of swords. Yeah. So they thought that they could take away something here. I don't know what it is, but take away maybe a boundary between you and this person. Like I'm getting the energy of someone kind of overstepping a boundary or acting out of character. Like, oh, yeah, a little bit mean. This is somebody acting like mean, okay? And it's almost like this is going to get Pisces to talk to me because I need Pisces to talk to me and this is how I win. Definitely some sort of ego streak going on here, um, whoever this is, okay? Now, that being said, I don't know if this is a continuous thing with this person or just like a temporary situation. You know, I'm sure you would know best, okay? But that's how it's coming off. All right. It's like they thought that they could get attention from you by being annoying or mean or picking on you, Pisces. You know how like kids on the playground sometimes, it's giving something like that. It's like they want to tease you and pick on you because they really like you, but they know that they're going to get some... Um, like a negative like negative feedback but to them that's attention regardless and they want that you see what i'm saying it's almost like kids when they're used to getting attention for misbehaving then they can 
continuously misbehave because that's the only way that they know how to get attention. It's something like this, guys. So let's see what's up. How do you see this person? Because it looks like there's a coming back around here between you and somebody that is attempting to happen. Reconciliation. This person is wanting to heal the gap, bridge the gap here. How do you see this person, Pisces? The moon card. Fair, fair. Moon card energy. The queen of swords. You need to dispel it is what I'm hearing. Ace of swords is here, which is referring to this that we just pulled. And the eight of cups. Someone here is avoiding um, a confrontation between you and them, and it feels like a specific topic that you need to communicate with them so that you can kind of move forward. And it's almost like you're dealing with someone who is not um, capable of speaking about something or they're avoiding it or they want it to keep hidden. I don't want to confront this with you. Let's talk about something else or um, maybe denying your reality in a sense. You see what I'm saying? It, it, like someone cannot take accountability. It's something to this effect here. And it's kind of got you feeling, why are you, because you're seeing this person as kind of avoiding the truth, avoiding conversations, not really wanting to speak about what exists between you and them, you know, like an elephant here. Okay. Three of Swords, Fool card, Seven of Wands. Okay. And that's why you don't want to talk to them. This is this is what this is here. Yep, there's that Five of Swords. It's like it's been, it's already been a certain amount of time that you could have came forward or you could have spoken to me about what exists between us that you're not necessarily speaking about. You're not putting your best foot forward. You're acting kind of like a bully or rude or inconsiderate, something like this. That's how you see them. Let me see what this is here really quick. It's like you're tired of trying to figure this person out here. Yep. <laughs> you, you kind of like are tired of trying to get an answer. So you, you're keeping yourself busy is what it looks like to me. Almost as though there's a threshold, okay, of how much you've dealt with, with this particular conversation specifically and this person. But it's like, sure, I'll continue to talk to you or we can have some sort of relationship or friendship, whatever this is, right? So long as you tell me about what happened back there or so long as you breach this unspeakable subject that you don't, you know, you're avoiding is what it is. Avoidance. Someone's avoiding some thin. Let me see how this person, I'm hearing Girl Scout cookies. What? Let me see how this person sees you, Pisces. You're like, come back when you have something to say. Empress, look at you. And the Page of Cups. And the Two of Wands. Four of Wands. Right. Queen of Wands. Is this uh, some sort of long-standing union here? You're coming off as Empress energy, and that person was coming off as Emperor, but the backside. Remember that? So that that was an imbalanced type of energy. Whether it's you or them, there was definitely an imbalance in the way that people are behaving. It's almost like taking masculine energy to an extreme, and that's where we get... Um, A lot of very controlling or sometimes I'm hearing sadistic, okay. Controlling energies and sometimes very macho energies, okay. I wouldn't necessarily say sadistic, but hey. This is someone who sees you as making decisions based off of stability here. And that kind of makes sense. Now, some of you guys are very concerned about a family situation right now or your living situation. It's something to that effect, which is true. We kind of spoke about that on your side here. And that's how they're seeing you. Like for some of you, maybe you're offering someone a certain amount of support or um, 
love and compassion and understanding, a sense of nurture, okay? Like you're nurturing your home life, your family life. You're very nurturing here. Um, very, I'm hearing compatible, but I was going to say compassionate, okay? And I also feel this is someone who is trying to give you this page of cups stuff, all right? So some kind of effort to come forward. What do you want with this person? It could be an apology, guys. Let me see. What do you want with this person, Pisces? Wash your out. Nine of Swords. Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's that it's that information that this person Persian. <laughs> I'm hearing Percy. This person will not breach. And the Seven of Swords. Yeah, okay. Harmful. I'm hearing harmful. You are wanting to Okay, sheath. You're turning extremely logical here, Pisces. And you're playing it smart. Um, you're just wanting to get to a calmer place. It's like you're tired of feeling out of whack or imbalanced. Like you need to protect yourself or you have like defenses up against this person or this person has some against you against, okay, whatever. With the relationship where it's become kind of difficult to have like a free flowing type of conversation and communication with this person. Mars, Moon, Mercury, all letter M's. There's a, a sense of frustration, okay? I feel like you're real frustrated with this and it, it feels like someone is not wanting to meet halfway or they just really can't make the situation comfortable enough here and it's got you kind of walking on eggshells okay especially when it comes to this individual of course so you're you're just really wanting to get past this general frustration that you and this person have so you can just move forward freely and effortlessly and get to a better place it's like those healing conversations and communications here um truthful communication what does this person want with pisces You may feel like someone took advantage of you or this could indicate some type of betrayal. Four of Swords. Um, temperance. I can barely reach right here for some reason right now. It's my setup. Okay. Okay, Mother Empress Energy here. Five of Wands right there, huh? All right. This is someone who is heavily thinking here, okay? And they've already figured out what they're wanting. And their approach is to be very careful and kind of know when to approach and offer love and compassion and also know when to kind of pull back or take a break or wait okay because this person's trying to strike a balance between coming forward and also kind of taking time to cool off between you and this person and I'm not necessarily sure why they feel like they need to kind of take breaks or pauses here but it's like they feel like this is the best approach right now in order to diffuse the frustrations. So they're, they're carefully wanting to have, no, they're wanting to have um, careful actions that they take with you that would promote healing and optimism and the potential to kind of have a new beginning full card as well as to promote empathy and compassion between you and them, okay? And they want you to know that they're here. This is someone who's saying, I'm here, I'm staying, I'm, you know, I'm waiting for this, or I'm 
I got your back. I'm here when you want to talk. It's something like this, okay? So you may be dealing with someone who kind of says something and backs off a little bit. It's because they're trying to carefully, like, I guess, be careful in their approach or be cautious or be mindful and trying to put be compassionate with the way that you may be perceiving this as well. See what I'm saying? I hope. Let me see. Your next moves. You may want, for some of you, you may have seen this person kind of step away and you may want answers for that. Like, why, why did you step away in the past or why did you break away here? It's something to that effect, okay? Um... So even though there's some guardedness between you and this person right now, someone's trying to break down those walls. Yeah. Yep. All types of reconciliations underneath the deck here. Now let me see. I'll tell you yours in a moment. If uh, I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'll tell you yours in a moment. Let me see this person. Next moves. This person's next moves please. And then I'll play you a two-week outcome because that is very interesting. See a little bit further. Okay, five of... Pentacles. Okay, higher font here. What in the world is going on? Okay. Someone here wants you to be able to come forward to them and show you that they're open to kind of communicate more with you. And if that doesn't happen, then they are kind of assuming that you're not wanting to be close or intimate with them here. Yeah. Let me see what this is right here. Yeah, the Five of Swords. There's that darn Five of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles. Wow. It's pretty much saying that this is someone who feels like they're trying to get the upper hand at this point by wanting you to do something or for you to come forward here. And you're right there too. Yeah, strength card. This is someone like holding down the fort over there real like uh staying in their own energies type of energy why did i say energy twice um but yeah staying staying to themselves quite a bit and like resisting the urge to do anything else because they want you to for whatever reason now i find this interesting because in your next moves you got a lot of cool stuff here okay whoever this person is with their shielded intentions Or like the murky energy here. Um, for some of you, this could be like a, a masked character that you may not know too much about. That's if, especially if this is something online. I just got to throw that out there as a side note, okay? Um, and if that's the case, this is someone that looks very untrustworthy. I'm just going to say that. But I feel if that is your personal case here that you would already have kind of hunches about this, okay? Because you're over here telling me this is someone who's kind of guarded or acting strange. So that specifically applies to that right there. Yeah. Now they're like, I'm not going to give Pisces attention because they're going to feel like they're in control. It's something like that. 
Wow. Okay. So you have some sort of romantic thing coming in here. You got a lot of uh, positive energy here, Pisces. It's very different and very much contrasts what this person is doing. So I feel this is yours on your own. I will pull you a two week outcome, of course, between you and the person we pulled, just so we could see a little bit further. Let me see though, because you have some sort of, some moon and stuff. Okay, King of Wands, very interesting. Listen, Pisces. A lot of you may be having two people here and you're facing a decision between who you're moving forward with. We are singing king and queen of wands. So there is a pair here, but there's also a king of pentacles paired with this two of swords. And I see that some of you or a lot of you actually, you are trying to decide here which way you're going. I do feel like there's someone coming in and kind of giving you lots of affection and attention. This could be someone showering you with, um, yeah, love and affection, or this is specifically a date here, okay? So now you're kind of needing to feel your way through this and make the best possible decision if you are, in fact, between two people. Others of you, this is just a, a fork in the road and you're having to choose what's happening here, okay? But I do see that any way that it happens, this is going to be good in your, on your part here good for you because I see you being very charismatic and confident and feeling loved and feeling appreciated some of you are choosing between passion and stability okay that's that's a that's a big one I'm seeing so you do have this temperance energy on the bottom of the deck here it does look like you may be kind of um Okay, you are facing some decision to be able to reconnect with whoever this is that's deciding to kind of cool off toward you during this time. It looks like there is also an energy here of you wanting to communicate with this person to kind of heal things, okay? But it's also, you may be taking your time on that just a bit, just a little bit. And this is someone who is completely waiting for you to do something. And if they do talk to you, it's like a little bit here and there, all right? But... Some of you have an earth sign coming in that you could be focused on during this time. Let me get you a two-week. Um, yeah, there's a confusion here between you and a person, guys. Maybe they're like opposing each other because this is someone who is wanting to beat out the competition. All right, between you and this person, Pisces, in the next two weeks. Nine of Swords. Again, the darn Five of Swords with that Nine of Swords. Four of Cups in the bottom and Two of Swords. This is a lot of friction. And it looks like, oh my gosh, Pisces, please. There's someone here who could be kind of, um, I don't know if you guys are both kind of irritated with one another. You guys both kind of say things to one another here that's like making the relationship a little bit too much friction, okay, between you and them, especially verbally so, because this could be a lot of mind games and manipulations here, but it's not helping because it's making some sort of stalemate as opposed to being able to grow something. It feels like someone is trying to assert their will over both your and this person's situation. And even if someone's forcing you to choose or trying to tell you it's me or this other person or something to that effect, you're not feeling it because you have the four of cups on the bottom of the deck. And I, I feel like at times, maybe you feel bad or you feel guilty or this person is trying to make you feel bad or feel guilty or kind of kind of make your knees buckle here for some reason. This is bizarre. Yeah, you're like, I don't, I don't want to be in that relationship. This is what this is saying here. Someone's kind of mean or asserting themselves in the next two weeks. Pisces. 
just beware because it's like they want you to choose them and they're trying to win at all costs but and but then they're over here being mean to you about it it's like that's not sweet like that's not romantic i'm sorry that doesn't turn me on it's kind of like this it's like why would you think that being mean or abrasive and forcing me to choose here is gonna help a bond or a relationship when that's a completely different ball game what is this moon again The Two of Cups, the Nine of Wands, which we kind of saw on your side here. Yep. If you have a bad feeling here, Pisces, you should trust that, okay? Because I feel like your intuition is already on alert here, okay? Just throwing that out there. Mm -hmm. You're like, I don't think we can heal this. We can't heal this. Or I don't want to make nice. I don't want like, something like that. We have death card energy. I feel like you're on the verge of actually moving. Yeah, there's a fork in the road. You're, you're on the verge of moving into another direction here. You are. And I feel like, yep, look at that. You have the Three of Cups, Ace of Cups, and the Lovers. There's a new relationship that's trying to be something of significance here. But it has to be chosen. And, and you know that. So let me see what else in the next two weeks. Uh huh, higher font. Some of you guys, yep, Taurus energy. Some of you guys are involving yourself with a Taurus in the next couple weeks. Um, or someone who's very stable in the material world, like a material girl. I'm just kidding. Care about the material girl part. But yes, this is someone who looks pretty darn stable, like a long-term type sitch. This is something that looks like someone could be wanting... higher commitments holy moly all right you even some of you may even have the person trying to make you choose them by offering marriage okay like don't marry that person marry me and kind of like beating their chest over it Yeah, this is someone who's in a competitive state for sure because of your opportunities, Pisces. Now there's a choice. You see we have two cards here with the twos. Yeah, that's pretty much what this is, Pisces. Let me see for you in the next two weeks because you look really good. I just, I mean, trust your feelings and the vibes that you're getting here and follow that, Pisces, please, in the next two weeks. I feel like I'm taking too much of your time here, Pisces. I'm going to pull you some Oracle. We'll wrap this up. I love you so very much. The Four of Cups. All right. Someone is pursuing you like hardcore, but... I'm even seeing like a sheriff like, are, are you so-and-so? Are you Tony? Are you... That's strange. Are, are you? And they call them by their name here. I don't know where that's coming from. Seven of Wands. Interesting. Push for your success here. There's something that you don't want and you freaking know it. You doggone know this, all right? You like to the bone here you're like no i don't want this or maybe this person is a sheriff or something like that and they like to like kind of assert themselves and feel like they're in control or i don't know what this is it's kind of like a vibe i guess but anyway this is about you having success basically by doing away with what it is you don't want seven of wands energy okay someone is coming at you sideways and it's not healthy and it's not nice and not that people have to be nice but this is beyond you know, acceptable is what it looks, all right? I'm just saying. Someone's stepping out of line. This week, Pisces, okay. 
I'm going to do this one last, actually. And I'm going to do this one first. For Pisces. This week and the next two weeks. What is this energy that is... Am I holding this upside down? Incubation and concealment. Yeah, okay. If someone is really... Um, wanting you to kind of tell them about what you have going on something new that you are creating maybe for some of you this is like a a relationship others of you this is some new agreement that you're making with people you're you're needing to keep something private right now what, whatever is new that you're incubating okay this is like i have a new thing and i got to keep it to myself so i can protect it very much like um a mother protecting her belly you see what i'm saying okay or her newborn or something like that it's like let me protect this because it's mine and i want it to grow and this is important energy for you at this time now some of you you may need to go in silence here whatever you're planning or doing because there's something that you may feel you need some protection over Okay, and it is by being private about your desires and your movements. An important end and a new beginning. Yeah, we kind of said that. It says, don't lose hope and sweet memories, but this is the main card coming out. I'll show you in a second here. Working too hard. Okay, yeah, maybe you were working too hard up here. So side note, <laughs> yeah, I'm working too hard here. But I also feel like someone is working too hard to have control, okay? Angel of time is here. Managing time wisely as well, which at the end of the world, at the end of the world, I feel like I should say something like watchtower, but it says an important end and a new beginning. Yeah, keep watch, okay? And kind of kind of keep something to yourself during this time period, if you know that's you. Pisces. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Bottom of the deck. Not bottom of the deck. We have the authenticity card right behind that. And um, I think a couple of signs got that this time. And we're only on the fourth sign right now out of 12. Okay. So I feel like a lot of truth is coming out during this time period. A lot of revelations. But it's also about knowing who you are and what you want and being fearful, not fearful, not being fearful of being yourself, being authentic, okay? Not to be fearful. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> to be fearless. All right. The patroness of impossible causes. I am miraculous. My prayers create powerful channels of possibility. And we have some incense ash over there. Don't mind me, please. So your main card, my loves. I have the power to make each moment sacred. Everything is material for my liberation. The essence of all Buddhas. Yeah, um, make each moment sacred. I kind of feel like you're moving through a careful process right now. And everything kind of needs to be managed very carefully, okay? Because especially if you're like freeing yourself from something. We have salvation energy. And we have wisdom. So I feel like you have the wisdom about the situation. You kind of know how you need to navigate right now. And for some reason, it needs to be navigated carefully. Yeah, focus right behind Love you so very much, Pisces. Feel free to check your other placements. Friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, peep and Tom, peep and Tanya down the street, check their placements too so we know what they're up to. Kisses. Love you. Bye.